All right, all right, all right. How you doing? It's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Man, I've had a rough past four days, but we're going to weather the storm. Coming to you with your daily dosage of the Mike Prince Show right here exclusively on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And you can hear that I'm somewhat laboring with my voice, but I would pray that you listen past the raspiness, listen to the content. You can follow me on Twitter at Radio Guy. Instagram is Radio Guy 22. Website is obnradio.com. And of course, in the Prairie View City Limits, you can reach us at 87.9 FM. And without any further ado, let us join today's episode. Well, what can we say? Golden State Warriors proving that they are the best team in the NBA. Handling the Cavs with no problem. You would have thought that the Cavs had the best chance of winning game one with LeBron getting 51 points. However, I still believe that the Cavs will get one win, maybe one out of these two coming back to Cleveland. But Golden State will become victorious in five. There's just no other way of prolonging this thing. I still believe just the sure determination and the will of LeBron James, it will warrant one win for the Cavs. The man is just outstanding. He's phenomenal. He's a man amongst boys. And there's been a lot of play that this may be the last time for LeBron wearing a Cavaliers uniform. And if that's the case, will Cleveland go into conniption fits as they did before? Burning LeBron jerseys, vowing to never, ever support LeBron James when he opted to go to Miami. A lot of people think it's going to be a slam dunk that he ends up in Los Angeles because of some of his business ties in Los Angeles. However, there are still some people pulling on the outside, i.e. the Houston Rockets, to try to lure LeBron into H-Town. And if that be the case, you're talking about an instant championship for the Houston Rockets. Don't know what it would take for Houston to pull that deal off, but it'll be intriguing to see how this thing plays out. I'm still saying Golden State in five, bring on football. Hi, this is Greg Austin with the Prairie View Athletic Club. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Enjoy. OTA is wrapping up, and everything is heating up on the football side. College game is about to intensify. So bring on the pigskin. Baseball regionals are getting cranked up. As a matter of fact, I like to tip my hat to the Texas Southern Tigers. Although they were swept and they were shut out in the Austin Regionals, losing to University of Texas and then followed up being eliminated by Indiana. Still a phenomenal year for Coach Mike Robertson and the Texas Southern Tigers. What makes it so phenomenal? They had to deal with with nothing but adversity. You lose your assistant coach during the course of your season. You have to rely on grad assistants to help you see your way through. You have to wear a balancing act of being all things in one, but yet without complaint, Without excuses, you get it done. And oh, did I mention, no facilities. 
everything that Texas Southern has done under Mike Robertson and even under Coach Barker from the softball side. They use public facilities for their home games. And they've been consistent. So, yes, facilities have an impact. But it's not the telltale. There's a system involved. There's coaching involved. And, oh, by the way, there's a thing called recruiting involved. So congratulations, Texas Southern. The next thing now, whether it's Texas Southern, Alabama State, whoever gets to represent the conference, not only the SWAC, but the MEAC as well, we got to figure out now how to get a regional win. And from the assessments that I've seen and gathered over the weekend, it all boils down to pitching. Of course, when you play in Power 5 programs, They have a plethora of pitching. Pitching running out their ears. And on the HBCU level, on the FCS level, pitching comes at a premium, and you have to almost go, well, not almost, but you have to go bullpen by committee. We've heard Mike Robertson talk about that. So now it's a matter of developing two, three, maybe even four pitchers to get you that one quality start as you advance in these regional plays. That will be the next project for the SWAC schools. I believe baseball is one of those sports that with the right system, with the right approach, you can get a neutralizer. Yes, I know pitching is king. And when you can constantly throw guys out there 88 to 96 miles per hour consistently, it makes a difference. But keep plugging away. And as old Sam Cook said, a change is going to come. And speaking of a change coming, as I mentioned, bring on the football. It's time to get it going. Prairie View had a football camp this past weekend. We'll do some research, try to find out what we can about that, the numbers and everything that came up. Last-minute recruiting for some of your colleges, for some of these young men to get a last-second look, to get an invite as a walk-on or whatever the case may be. Graduation is now a thing of the past for the 2018 campaign. And I was able to weather that storm. Weathering the storm today, because as promised, our dedication is to give you what others dare not talk about. With that being said, as my voice gets stronger, We got a lot of intriguing things in store for you this week. I hope you join us as we continue to move forward. As always, you can follow me on Twitter, Radio Guy. Instagram is Radio Guy 22. The website, obnradio.com. And, of course, in the Prairie View community, you can listen at 87.9 FM. Until the next time, you guys be blessed. I'm raspy, but I'm here. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince, and we'll see you on the other side.